Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Opera on the video where we're gonna be talking about what was talk or what was mentioned during the OPOP video that I was live earlier tonight, uh, doing a live reaction with me and some of the other content creators. We're gonna be going over the translations for that, and also we do have the infiltration report. And if you clicked on this video for the thumbnail, Yes, it is 100% confirmed via the in-game notice. We will get into that here in just a bit and also talk about uh, the app update because there was some quality of life updates that came to JP. So there will be timestamps in this video for whatever it is that you are curious about uh, from everything that basically got uh, released uh, tonight. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh, about what you are excited about or curious about that is coming to JP Default. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. So first thing is going to be the Water of Illusion Spiritist for Ramu. So the boss, we're going up against two deep sea birds and they have a water form and a dark form now the water form resist melee ranged and magic non thunder slash holy attacks and then the dark form all enemies cannot gain brave from battery now the force gauge effect is that they did decrease uh, the ally speed and when they use the force ability they grant themselves a buff uh, the force time effect depends on the form and HP remaining. The effects range from granting themselves brave regen or inflicting the allies with HP poison. Ooh. Ugh, that's that's how mm. uh, this fight this just just this description right here is just like mm. <laughs> Oh man, this spirit is uh fight is gonna be very, very interesting. Uh, the force weakness is to deal basically Ash's FR ability uh, while the bosses have 10% or more H. Oh, oh, so if we use it below, oh, okay, so we basically have to knock him out um, and like go from like 10 to 0 or whatever the HP value uh, it's at, uh, just knock it completely down. So, because I guess once we, once, once we reach below 10%, it's kind of like, yeah, you're going to have to reset. <laughs> At least that's what I'm understanding from this. So the characters uh, for this event will be asked to be receiving her FR, ABT weapon, and her rework. Uh, her FR weapon, Ultima Blade. Uh, the FR ability, Cloud Clearing Roaring Thunder Slash. Her partner is going to be Edge. It's going to be a magic AoE, Brave plus HP attack, and it grants the allies Queen's Order. The FR, when a turn passes with a character selecting a Thunder Attack Command or a Holy Attack Command, it increases the HP damage bonus. And then whenever a turn passes with a character having four or more buffs, it increases the HP damage bonus. Okay, so that's that's actually fairly simple to do because uh, Ash does enchant with Thunder and Holy, so that's 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 easy. Uh, her BT weapon. Uh, with the beat, I am not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's a magic AoE brave plus an HP attack. The BT effect, it triggers a follow-up attack each time that Ash attacks. The party receives a brave damage up, brave damage cap up, stolen max brave up, and changes the overhealing to battery. Nice. The enemies cannot grant self buffs and cannot battery themselves. Ah, so she has a Vincent effect. Not, uh, uh, allow, not allowing them to grant any buffs, but she also cannot let them battery themselves. That's a very good uh, uh, BT effect right there. Uh, her follow-up attack is an AoE Brave plus an HP attack, and it heals the party based on the HP damage dealt. Okay, that's very nice. I like that. Uh, next up is going to be the 10 million downloads campaign. So this begins on the 31st and ends on June 15th. There's going to be 8 days of login rewards up to 10k gems. There will be a special login bonus with 1,000 June daily tokens. And everything in the shop is unlimited except for tickets with 100 ticket caps. Oh, man. Dang, that would have been nice to have a, a thousand free tickets, but uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, what what other gacha game would be that would be that kind enough to actually do that, right? Uh, the Memorial Gigantor will have ten tickets, which can be obtained per day up to hundred tickets. Oh, okay, so that's two hundred free tickets right there. Nice. Uh, Sykes' Lost Chapter is going to be coming up to JP. She's going to be receiving an FR and a rework. So her FR whip uh, weapon, Nirvana. 
the FR ability Dual Darkness Zone with a partner Beam Pain. It's a melee AoE Brave plus an HP attack that delays the targets by 3 turns. The FR ability, whenever a turn passes with a character selecting a Dark Command, uh, or if a dark attack is triggered outside of own turn, uh, HP damage bonus increase. And then whenever a character uh, has a stacked buff or overhead. Oh, that's a very easy. That's very easy to increase. Nice. I like that. Uh, when dealing elemental weakness damage, HP damage up and HP damage cap up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that means Sice is going to be hitting much harder. I'm excited. Uh, there's going to be a metal challenge, and then uh, Strago, or Strago, excuse me, uh, is going to be receiving an FR and a rework. So his FR ability, Burning 1000 Needles, with uh, Kamari being his FR partner, it breaks all enemies. It's a magic AoE, Brave plus an HP attack. It cancels the break status after each HP attack. Uh, when it comes to the FR ability or the conditions to increase it, uh, whenever a turn passes with a character selecting a magic attack command, HP damage bonus. When breaking a target or attacking a broken target, HP damage... Oh, that's that's not bad. So, uh, attacking a broken target or breaking a target, like you have characters like Arden. Uh, well, I, I, no, because Arden doesn't deal magic, so he'll only be able to meet half of that. Um... But yeah, obviously, uh, Strago would be one. What's another one that's able to re-break uh, or break a target? Well, I mean, if, if they're attacking a broken target, I guess it doesn't really matter. You could bring, like, any any magic user. Um, but, it, yeah, this this right here is definitely more focused towards the magic users. And, you know, if they, if they are able to break easily... Or just attacking a broken target, it won't be too. It won't be an issue for them. Uh, when breaking a target or attacking a broken target, increase in HP damage up and HP damage cap up. I like that. And then this does not trigger twice due to the effects of the Soul of Tabas. Ah, I was curious about that. If if that would actually work, like double FR attacks, that would be pretty. That would be pretty hype. Uh, additional informa yeah, information from the infiltration report. So there is going to be a, a Twitter campaign. If we do 10,000 retweets uh, for the 10 mil anniversary will result in gaining rewards including 12 high power stones, providence scores, and enhancement points. Ooh, okay. I'm definitely going to set a reminder for everybody uh, who has a Twitter to help us in reaching that. That's awesome. Uh, FLD Transcendence 13 is coming up. Uh, there will be a support campaign that will be happening with that. Uh, the brand new character, which is going to be Jesse from FF7. I was not... Actually, I'll talk about this here in just a bit. But a person with relation to Cloud and Barret. I... Yeah, I'm very excited about that. At the same time, though, there is something that I do want to comment about uh, her release. But we'll talk about that once we switch over to the other screen. Uh, Kuja will be having his intertwined wills or intersecting wills, whichever. Uh, the story about that is going to be, in order to save Laguna, who slipped and fell down a cliff, Kuja and Gobels go... Go look for him. Will they find Laguna safe? So, cool deal on that. Uh, when it comes to monthly reworks. So, the characters that are going to be getting reworks is going to be Laguna and Ash on the 31st of May. Uh, Sice and uh, and the twins are going to be getting a rework on June the 6th. Um, let's see. Strago, or Strago, whatever, uh, and Yustola uh, are going to be getting reworks on the 9th. Uh, there's going to be a new BT character and a returning BT character on the 15th. And then Kuja will be getting a rework on the 20th. Also, uh, when it comes to the ticket cap. So, the tickets that just released on Global uh, that we just got a couple days ago. Making it so that we can exchange gems for these tickets. That is going to be coming to JP. But it will not be coming until the end of June at the next app update. So, we st so JP players we're, we're gonna have to wait uh, another month until we get the same tickets uh, the whole multi ticket that global just got we're gonna have to wait uh, another month before that actually happens and then finally when it comes to rewards so we're gonna be getting 7,000 gems 20 tickets 20 power stone and five armor tokens now let's switch over to the actual infiltration report uh, as you can see we're going to be fighting us uh, Ramu spiritus Ramu and of course we'll be able to get 40k gems tickets so on and so forth and then we will we 
we will be able to uh, level up Ramu up to level 50. Uh, the synergy characters for that event will be Setzer, Laguna, Kimari, Ash, Agrius, Rem, and uh, Renoa and Arden. Now, when it comes to Renoa and, and Arden, there is going to be a separate banner for them. There is going to be like some type of like campaign banner. Uh, so I'm not sure they're going to be released at the same time where Ash and uh, Laguna, because Laguna is going to be the returning BT along with Ash. Uh, if if their banners is going to be released with Ash and Laguna, so we're going to have to wait and see until that is confirmed. Uh, so that is that for that. Uh, this right here is the Twitter campaign that I mentioned earlier, which I'm not going to get into because I already did. Oh, excuse me. This is the uh, the 1,000 tokens. This is the Twitter campaign. Uh, and uh, I'm going to remind uh, everybody. I'll probably make like a YouTube shorts or something, you know, asking uh, people to help us out in uh, getting to 10,000 retweets. Um, then uh, Transcendence 13 is coming. There is the silhouette, the darkened silhouette for Jesse. Uh, so what I wanted, the thing that I wanted to comment about that is that, don't get me wrong, I have, I don't really have too much issues with Jesse coming because like I, I, I like Jesse. Jesse is uh, is uh, one of the best girls in FF7. Come at me, I don't care. <laughs> I'm an FF7 fanboy, okay. And then when, when remake came out, like it just like like solidified everything but no i am excited i was not expecting an, an ff7 character to be dropping uh or to be our next character at the same time though like i really wish that red 13 on naniki would have been uh the our next ff7 character because that, that pretty much would have completed the the entire ff7 cast um or not like cast but like you, you know it's cast team whatever um so i was really hoping that if they were to have brung another FF7 unit, that it would have been, uh, it would have been him. But you know what? I'll take Jesse. I have no problems with Jesse, but I would definitely would have preferred Naniki. Uh, I am curious as to how they, they are going to work her kit. If they uh, like what what her weapon type is gonna be. Like if she's gonna be the throwing weapon type. Is she gonna be the gun weapon type? Uh, I'm really curious to see like how they are going to implement her into default and what kind of a character she is going to be. If she's going to be DPS, support, utility, uh, I highly doubt she's going to be tank. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see. But regardless, I am excited that she is coming. I was not expecting her to come to default this, this early. Um, but, you know, I would have definitely preferred uh, Naniki uh, over anything. Or, or, or even a 14 character would have been nice as well. So, Or even for, for those who are waiting for tactics characters, I would have been happy with that as well. Um uh, like uh, like I mentioned earlier, Kuja, Intersecting Wheels, Scythe, Lost Chapter, uh, and then of course the reworks and whatnot that I that I that I mentioned earlier. Finally, let's look over to the City of DB, and we're gonna talk about some of the patch notes that was related to to uh, the app update that we just got. So this update, it's a little interesting. So basically, what it is is that you can now set your characters as a favorite and filter. Uh, your character list based on each hot tier to easily find your favorite. So this is kind of like a, a quick way uh, to be able to find characters that let, let's say you you would actually use a whole lot more. Uh, they decided to implement this type of thing. So there are six different hot tiers as you can see on the image. Uh, you can you got like a red heart, blue heart, green heart, uh, can candy apple i don't freaking know uh a greenish uh, app apple gosh darn it a greenish heart a pink heart and a blue heart or light sky blue heart whatever uh so you'll be able to access it whenever you are looking at the character there's going to be a new icon that is right below the little costume uh icon next to the character that's where you will be able to find it if you want me to do like a quick little video on this just for those who are curious do let me know and uh, i will make one uh, as we continue the Twitter thread, uh, as you can see on the screenshot, equipped abilities will be in full display to make sure you don't select an incomplete character by mistake. So, like, this is, it's a small quality of life where basically they're making it so that, you know, it's easier to find a character that, let's say, you use a whole lot more. And this this will give you, like, a strong indication, like, hey, this character has this, this, and that, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um... Also, another thing that they decided to do was to reduce the uh, the bloated mission screen. So basically, uh, they they condense stuff 
is pretty much what they did. Uh, they shrank a lot of the missions to put them together. They put the rewards together. Uh, so basically, missions that required the completion of the same condition will be displayed together in one mission. So that way, even though you know, I don't at least for myself, I don't really look through like I don't look through the entire list of of the missions that I gotta complete. I just you know do them because like they've been the same for quite a while now. Uh, but for those who actually do decide to look, like they condense everything to make the list uh, shorter. And then if we go back, uh, they also added an addition, they, uh, the addition of the amount of points that can be obtained with a mock pass to the points result screen. So as you can see there, um, it, it, it'll, it'll show you the uh, the granted points uh, for, for whatever, whichever of the two mock passes that you actually have. And then finally, um, the use of support items disabled on quest detail slash result screens for quests that are not affected by those I I'm a little confused uh, uh, about this. I'm not entirely sure what is up with that. Uh, the experience items limit was also increased as well from 999 to 9999. So yeah, uh, like I said, I'm a little confused on this one. The use of support items disabled on quest detail slash result screens for quests that are not affected by those items so i oh okay gotcha the same on quest for are not affected you know i'm honestly not too sure if you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think honestly okay it's late so like my brain is I'm not even thinking at the moment, so you guys can kind of give me like a better idea if, if you guys understand it. This this was translated by uh, by Rem from the city of DB, so I, I may have to hit, uh, hit him up and see what's up. But uh, if you guys beat me beat me to it, then uh, you know, hey, more power to you. Uh, and uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And uh, with that being said, take care, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.